My name is Cynthia Mullins. I'm a Houston realtor. I'm a native Houstonian. I grew up in Friendswood, Texas, uh, halfway between Houston and Galveston. I have been a realtor since 2001. I do have my broker's license, uh, and uh, what that involves is uh, a lot more education uh, to get the license and a certain level of experience. The, the reason I put out what I do on my blog and social media is uh, I put things out that um, catch my attention. Um, in a formal life, I was an electrical engineer, so I uh, have a natural curiosity. I have a lot of questions that I want answers to. If I can answer my own questions from that perspective, I can answer most anyone else's questions. I am very analytical when it comes to buying and selling a home. Uh, I realize it's, uh, it's not a science, it's an art. One of the fun things of buying and selling real estate in the Heights is it's really, really challenging. Um, depending on how old the house is, where it is in its renovation, what's been done to it, the quality of what's been done to it, what's been done to it that you can see or not see, such as um, replacing the, the uh, electrical or the plumbing critical to know the things like neighborhood boundaries that make a difference or school boundaries or uh, historical neighborhood boundaries. Every transaction's different, every client's different, uh, the other side of the transaction's different, so some of them are easy, some of them are tough, but it, it uh, makes it interesting. I was recently recognized as a top producer uh, at Boulevard Realty uh, number three. Uh, what that means for clients, it means that you're consistently educating yourself and staying uh, informed on what's going on in the market and what's changing uh, in the city. Here in the Heights, through the, another iteration of the Historic Preservation Ordinance rules and guidelines, and also um, Harvey in uh, 2017 has changed the building codes, and uh, not everyone's aware of how those are changing and what that means if they were going to renovate a property and maybe that renovation isn't going to be possible, if they knew that up front before that knowledge is really um, out in the public, they would have made a different choice. I think the value in a consistent top producer means that you're getting someone that's staying informed and staying in the loop with what's going on and has their finger on the pulse of the city, not just its real estate market.